the um, worksheet I gave you today, and I believe you finished one and two in class. I'll do number five and six, and you guys try to do um, three and four on your own, okay? If you have questions still tomorrow, you can. There's two ways we can approach this. We are not to use decimal here. You guys are honors, so we need to know how to work with fractions. Okay, I'll start with the easy one, number four. This is uh, number six, I mean, four backwards. You have to make the neg one half and the negative one half or the minus one half equal to zero, so you add one half. That makes it a zero, so I'm going to add a half here also on this side of the equal sign. Four whole plus a half is four and a half, right? Equals to um, three over five times h. Now, um, that's nine over two. We need to make it improper times three over five times h. Okay, so. Two ways. First, you can take its reciprocal. If you don't understand that, okay, the reciprocal, oh my gosh, how long has it been up? I'm glad I noticed it. Um, anyways, I hope you understand that part. All right, I haven't done much. So, you can multiply it by reciprocal and cross cancel that way, or you can say, okay, I got a denominator 5 and 2. My least common denominator is 10. So I'm going to times this by 10. I'm going to times this fraction by 10 so I can get rid of the denominator. 10 and 5, that's 1 and 2. So that gives you 2 and 3, which is 6. 6h six equals. Cross this out, that's a 5 and a 1. That gives you a 45. You got rid of the fraction. Okay, divide by 6, divide by 6. Your answer goes in 9, 9, 8, 7, 7 times, 42, 3 remainder, so equals to H, or 7 and 1 half equals to H, reduce. Okay, the other way is this. And you'll eventually learn this too, so it's the first, this way you'll learn. Okay. The other way is just multiply by the reciprocal of this. The reciprocal of that times that by 5 over 3. Times that by 5 over 3. Cross cancel, cross cancel, h equals cross cancel, that's a 1 and a 3, so 15 over 2. Right? Yeah. Or 7 and a half. Okay. Now let's look at this one. Reciprocal is much easier, I believe, but whatever works for you. To get to make zero, I have to add two. Add two, add two. I get five over eight g equals. This will be on your test, by the way. This will be on your Friday's test. Test question. These type questions will be on your test. And this is two and one half or 5 over 8g equals to 5 over 2. Okay, least common denominator 16. I find it easier by just multiplying by its reciprocal. Okay, well, least common denominator here is 16. 16. You'll need to know how to do this in a little bit. We're going to go, this is going to be an important concept. Multiplying by the least common denominator. These denominators 8 and 2, the least common denominator is 8, not 16. So sorry. 16 will work, but 8 is smaller. That gives you a 1. 1 times 5 is 5g. Gives you a 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 
divide by 5, get g equals to 4. Okay, or, yeah, or the other way, you'll get the same answer, multiply by its reciprocal, the reciprocal, cross cancel, cross cancel, cross cancel, that means cross dividing, becomes a 2, I mean a 4. Um, oh wow, what am I doing? G is equal to basically the 4. Okay, if you do cross canceling. Just as easy as the other way, okay? Here, to make negative 5 equal to 0, you have to add, you need to make this equal to 0, so you have to add 5. Add 5. That's 0 here. So that gives you one half. K equals to five and three over four, or one half. K equals to twelve, fifteen over four. Multiply. Okay, least common denominator is four, right? Least common denominator is four. So times four, times four. 3k equals, divide by 3, 3, k equals to 5. Okay, you try this on your own. Alrighty. Oh no, when did this show up again? Anyways, I hope it didn't show up that long. Um, alrighty. I'll do your other worksheet. The other worksheet is basically the same as this with decimals, and you know how to work with decimal numbers. Oh, just in case, because some of them didn't show up right. So I'll load, up, load down the other the other one from here and we'll we'll do that one no we're in chapter one okay right here it is it's coming all right just the last two pages right that's all we need because we did the first two in class okay uh this one you shouldn't have, we did it in class. Okay, this one here. I didn't realize you couldn't see. Show work, state the property. Okay. Solve each two-step equation, show your work, state the properties. Okay. You have to make the negative 12 equal to 0. So you have to add 12. So that is the addition property of equality. You put addition. plus 12 here. The signs are different. We subtract. This is 0. Divide by negative 2.5. Okay. And your answer is positive. 10. I think, yeah, 10, c equals to 10. Oh, what property is this? We divide, so this is division property of equality. Okay, and that's it. And here's the back. I'm sorry it didn't come out well. This is a minus here. This is an equal an equal, this is a plus, same thing. You make this one equal to zero. So you, um, if you add, you just make it bigger. So you need to subtract 2.7 to 7. OK. 
quer. This is zero, you get negative s over four. And subtract that from two, 175. Times it by negative four, that negative goes to the four. Okay, and you finish that. Same thing, that's like the one I just showed you, so make sure you know how to do this. To get rid of the plus 2, you have to minus 2. Minus 2. Well, 0 over 3 is the fraction. 